How you doing? Didn't you get that? I didn't. I, I'm trying not to. I wasn't paying attention. I'll be real quick. <laughs> I'll be real quick, I promise. Uh, let me ask you the most important question. Where are you from? I'm from Hollywookie.com. A nerd's, yeah, a nerd's guide to Hollywood. I think I read, read you guys yeah, too. Yeah, I, yeah we, we love the show. Uh, so the most important question, did you make this show just so you can get paid to play golf? And, and kiss other women. Yeah, exa- well, that too. See, your <laughs> Which, priorities, way, though. I'm, I'm horrible at both of those. <laughs> oh, I've seen you play golf. I know that I'm one's not true. I have a 13 true. handicap in both of those. <laughs> um, no, I didn't. I, first of all, it's like I said before, it's TNT. So the pay, that, <laughs> on the list of reasons I did it, it's there's 10 reasons. And then another 10, you'll find that, the money. You'll find the money in there. Um, I did it because... I, you know, had been doing the show for nine years. I've been doing stand-up for 11 years. It was 20 years of doing, creating stuff. And that stopped, and I realized after a couple months, I don't feel right. And that's kind of how the genesis of the show, Mike and I both were kind of in this funk. And we said, well, let's write about it. Yeah. Which did you prefer more, doing the sitcom or doing, like, which style do you prefer well, more, I sitcom don't, or I this? Well, I can't really, uh, people have asked me that, and it's... Not only comparing apples and oranges, it's comparing times of my life. When I was doing this, the sitcom, I, uh, that was the most exciting thing in the world for me to do. And then nine years, it, it ran its course, and now this is... So they're both the same. I, I enjoy them both. Yeah, I wouldn't go back and do another sitcom. This is, this is where my passion is now. But I had the same passion back then. Yeah. My last question, then I'll, I'll pass it over to Natalie. She's getting all this. I, well, I know, but yeah. she, I want her to have some fun. Um, right. What did you do for... Uh, you said that you had many midlife crises. Was there anything that the zaniest... What is the zaniest thing you did during a midlife crisis? Oh, zany. I don't know about zany. But, <laughs> or uh, sad, you know, whatever. I lived at home until I was 29. So uh, if that ain't a crisis, I don't know what <laughs> um, And then in my 30s, I had twins. And uh, you have two two-year-olds running around your house... You, you spend a lot of time at the therapist. I was going to say, how did you keep <laughs> sane from that? <laughs> yeah. But it's all good. I'm saying, you know, my point is uh, midlife is not a time where you can't be happy. You just have to work at it just like you did in your 20s and your 30s and your 40s. <laughs> <laughs> keep going. Yeah, Thank yeah. you so much. I'll pass right, it off to her.